cha boom boom ba cha boom cha boom boom ba cha Now listen up all you big cat lovers with your snacks in your face and your feet under the covers It's time to hear a story so sit your butt down because Derek's gonna walk you all around the compound Ba cha ba do Yeah Hey 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 you Hello Hi Hey, pretty girl. How are you? <laughs> I was in here last night with Heidi. Heidi was feeding uh, Raven. She had cut up a chicken breast on a little cutting board. And then she texted me because I was out in the compound doing... <laughs> Doing stuff. <laughs> and, um, she said, "Like, oh, there's no. I don't have a pan. Can you bring a pan?" So I'm like, "Yeah, I can bring a pan." And I go and I get a pan. And I bring it back. But then, by the time I come back in here, Heidi's already. She's feeding Raven chunks of chicken, and she's like, "You know, it's probably better if I just feed her like this." Instead of doing stuff with the pan, because if we just put it in the pan, then she just goes, she just goes, nom, 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 just eats it all. And then maybe she'll kind of, like, puke some of it. <laughs> and she'll puke some of it. And then possibly, like, eat that. <laughs> but people are like, oh, my cat does that. I'm sure there's probably people like, yeah, I have a cat that does that. Yeah, that raven. <laughs> Not all the time, but it's like... If she eats too fast. So Heidi was like feeding her. Like a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. And then saying like no no. And then Raven was like more. More now. And Heidi's like no. Take a drink of water. Get a drink of water first. And then I'll give you some more. And Raven's like this is BS. This is not cool. I don't like this. But then she would also like be like. She would kind of burp like burp kind of thing and like yeah you need to let it sit you need to let it settle before you take more bites <laughs> before you take more bites and she's like I guess I suppose hello hello hi babos hi Gibbs Mr. Mimi Mr. Mimi Mimi me Oh. I think Heidi's possibly in that direction. She might be. Yeah. Hi, Sass. Hi, baby. Oh. You brought your food. You brought your food into your bed. You brought it into your bed. Nice Lisa Frank bedspread. I can't remember who got that. Who got it? Who did? Who got that? Someone donated that. That's what Cassie's got today. Oh. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi. Hello. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this awesome thing. Look what Heidi got for me for Christmas. Oh my gosh, this thing's amazing. It, uh, you know, brings out all of the colors my eyes my plumage yes hello little ones hello little ones hello little ones you guys got fed and then you got fed again and then fed some more many days many days in a row there was food, and then there was some more food, and then some more food. <laughs> and then they make it seem like, what is food? Have we ever seen that before? It sounds like an amazing luxury afforded to kings and queens. All right. Got some sleepy kitties here. Sleepy kitties here. 
Where's another one? There's another one. And another one. There's a tum tum right over here. A poopa a poopa luka tum tum. Poopa luka tum tum. Oh my goodness. Oh my 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 my. Oh my 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 my. <gasps> Hi. Oh my. I got uh I got some other good stuff for uh Christmas, besides from my really awesome Packer sweater. I, I love this thing. And it's like, it is super warm. Like it is deceptively warm. You look at this thing, you're like, oh, that would be, seems like it'd be a warm thing, but it is like warm, warm. Um, <coughs> hi. Oh my. Oh my. Wow. And then got some good cologne. Some nice smelling stuff. Got some uh got some artwork to be able to hang up. Like apartment, office, etc. Got a Van Gogh print. Very nice one. Because I like Van Gogh. I would say that uh, he's my favorite of them there, artists. So I got like a, a nice, like a, a nice quality print that like really kind of brings out the colors. But one thing I'll say, because I've actually seen. I've had the pleasure and the privilege. I actually went to a Van Gogh uh, exhibit. It was it was a traveling thing. Yano, yeah, no. Yano, yeah, Yano. Yeah, Hi. Hello. Just wanted to make sure that you're okay. You are okay. Joe. Joe. There you are. I, I have a... Uh, yeah, I, I actually did. I got to go and see. And it was like... It was crazy because it was... Uh, most of like most of the hits <laughs> a lot of the like oh those are those familiar pieces hi ren you're having a pee oh i gotta sneeze <laughs> been sneezing a lot today been sneezing a lot oh heidi just uh fed the littles hi ren melissa says hi by the way <laughs> no. But that's like the thing that made me like Van, that seeing that Van Gogh exhibit. That was like the first thing or the first time really where I could really appreciate the difference between seeing again like a print of something or you know like there's like an, you have an art book. Like one of those coffee table books, like one of those big ones where it may have like some really good quality, high quality kind of color printing of famous works of art. But there is a difference between seeing that stuff and actually seeing the original, seeing it in person. Could have sworn I saw Bobby's shadow. I saw a Bobcat shadow. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? There she is. Hi, baby girl. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. <laughs> okay, bye, 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 bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>
<laughs> oh goodness gracious she's got stuff to do she's got places to go whoa there she goes again man oh man now she's up there wow <laughs> oh man um, but, but as far as the art thing is concerned, it's almost kind of like um, if you were to take a, if I were to take a picture of the grass, and if I were to just take a screenshot of the grass, then that would just exist as almost kind of like this flat, kind of two-dimensional kind of thing. Yes, you could still like have a good idea, like oh, that's a grass, that's a good, and there's a detailed kind of picture. You know, there's some tan over here and some green over here. But then when you like you look at the grass in real life, though, it's like you notice it's like it's now it's this world and now we're here and now there's like this stuff kind of going on and there's a layer there's an added depth to it and that's the same kind of thing that i saw when i first saw like a live exhibit of van gogh paintings because i had seen so many different pictures again in like coffee table books or prints or whatever of van gogh and i've I'd always been a big fan and then I went and saw it and it was like, I'd seen, I got to see parts of it and parts of the canvas and parts of the, of the paint and, and like the, the brush strokes that, that came up off of it. And I could look at it from different, and it was so, it was so cool. I'm just, it, it actually kind of, kind of blew me away being able to see that stuff in person. Um, it made me appreciate, uh, made me appreciate him as an artist even more, what he created. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. So, yeah. Um, but, uh, that's some of the, that's, that's some of the stuff I got for, I got some other stuff, got some shirts. Got some socks for Christmas, which is awesome. <laughs> it almost sounded like a growl, but no, that was actually her sitting down and then just going <sighs> and just like expressing all of the air as she as she laid down. And then there is a tiger. And there is a tiger. Mmm. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. You got chicken today. It was a, it was like a mixed feed, where we had uh, red meat and then chicken, and then we had thawed. So some cats got red meat, some cats got chicken, and some cats got a combination of both. And I believe, yeah. You were a chicken cat. I think that there was like four chicken cats, and you were one of them. And it appears that you ate all of your chicken. It was like 24 pieces. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought that there was a lion somewhere in this enclosure, but I don't, I can't seem to find her. This enclosure is barren. Someone stole our lion, our lioness. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you know what happened to our lion? There was supposed. To, there's a lion that lives in this enclosure. A lioness. Her name is Noelle. She's a very pretty girl. With uh, with sandy eyes. Golden sandy eyes, and uh, she's uh, nary to be found. Do you have you seen any lionesses that fit that description? <laughs> what is this? What is this toot about? What sort of toot do we got going on here? Oh my goodness. Anyway, I hope that everyone had a good, uh, if, if, for those of you who do celebrate Christmas, I hope that you had a good Christmas. Um, 
And then, you know, if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a good day, regardless. And, uh, yeah. All of, uh, all of that stuff. People, I'm a big Chris, I'm big into Christmas. I love Christmas. I just love it. Just the, the feeling of warmth and togetherness and family and the aesthetic, the food, just there, it all kind of comes together in this. Yeah. It's like, there's the magical kind of feeling, the spirit of giving, the spirit of love, family. Yeah. All of that. Love it. Um, and a lot of people know, they know, like, I like Christmas. So then they're like, Oh, do you, are you excited? Like as we get closer and here's the thing. A lot of times I actually kind of get bummed on Christmas itself. I actually think that I like the lead up to Christmas. Yeah, I probably have talked about this on the webcast before. I think I like the lead up to Christmas more than the actual holiday. Because once Christmas happens, then it's done. And it's done. And then you have, what, January and February to look forward to yippity doo da <laughs> the two bestest months out of all the months <laughs> that's like the i my my birthday my birthday is in february which february is easily you know just it's it, it's kind of the crummiest of months it, it just the time of year, the weather usually stinks. Ah, uh, it's just, it's short. A lot of times, like, if depending on where you're at, it's like you're in this middle of this weird, just like dirty snow melt. A lot of times, it's just February. It's just cold and wet. And it, I just, I just think of just big piles of snow that have been, uh, you know, piled up from snow plows and they're in like various stages of melt and then they have a lot of car exhaust and dirt on them but they've been just like just piled up more and then melted and then dirt and piled up more and melted and dirt and then you just get this weird just jawbreaker of just layers of just yuck <laughs> that's february happy birthday Anyway, I am, I am rambling. I'm going on a tangent, and this is getting further along than I have uh, intended it to. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dormus Award in the comments section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. And I'll see you folks later. You keep them tigers fed. All right. Bye-bye. Monkey's Butter Toast. Munchie saw a ghost. Miko weighs the most.